I was scared that how I was feeling would never change, that I was going to spend the rest of my days living in sickness and I wouldn't know anything beyond that. I thought that it was, there was something wrong with me. I thought I wasn't strong enough. Um. I've experienced some, um, some really beautiful things because of my creativity, but also um, had to endure some uh, pretty rough hardship because of that. Complete hopelessness and helplessness and want to take my life. The isolation took over. It was really lonely out there. Kept it to myself because I thought that no one would believe me. I couldn't stand living with this secret and this suffering for one more minute of one more day. Sorry. I had to play really, really sick to get a doctor to believe that I really needed some help. At the beginning of our journey, or sometimes before we even realize a journey exists, it's easy to fall into the mindset of thinking, I, I'm just gonna feel this way, there's nothing anybody can do for me anyway. If this is what life is, I don't want anything to do with it. Um, We have a team now at Canadian Mental Health where we're, we're coming together and we're planning for the future. We really, really have tried to create a stigma-free environment. I felt like recovery in the medical world was very different, but it didn't fit what recovery meant for me. With mental health, a big part of um, recovering and being in recovery is finding what, what works for you. I have aspirations. I think that I'm something more than just a diagnosis. Community is essential. Community should be priority because that's how we keep people out of hospital and that's how we keep them into their most optimum health. We share our own experience and through sharing our own experience, um, that helps other people. You know, I pinch myself, it doesn't seem real sometimes that I can use the experiences that I've had to like help other people. It is the most powerful thing to surround yourself with people who understand you without you having to say a word. There's just a different connection when you are talking to someone who has kind of experienced the same roller coaster you have in life. Hearing the stories and hearing what people had been through, it kind of just made something flick in my head and it's like there's all these incredible strong people out there that have gone through so much or still going through so much and they're just pushing at it they're not giving up and it made me think you know i want that too i want to live again i want to feel something i want to be a part of life um i can honestly say peer support was the beginning of return point for me we have this amazing like welcome space where anyone can just enter and we meet people, and we have coffee with them, and we share stories. It's just an opportunity to connect with someone. So we have peer support workers with lived experience that you can just talk to. Peer support is that hug that everyone's afraid to ask for, but is so happy to receive. At the Recovery College, we're really focused on empowering people through education. And so just having people learn the skills that they need in order to better themselves, I think has been really amazing. I can, couldn't promise that it's going to be easy, but I can say that it's worthwhile. I'm, I'm fully myself again, and I'm fully authentic, more so than I probably ever was. And I, I, I attribute that to the community I found at CMHA, um, hard work, and hopefully the continued understanding of, of the public and the continued education. It's encouraging and it gives you hope.